drive throughs are known for being convenient, but did you know that many drive throughs have a rule where they can't serve you if you're not in an actual vehicle? So today, we're testing the limits to see what actually qualifies as a vehicle and if this rule is actually even enforced. We have a whole slew of crazy vehicles to try, from a Flintstone car, to a wheelie chair, to even electric kids' cars. Huh? However, the first thing we're gonna try technically is a car, but not just any car. All right, you ready? Turn it, turn it. A few inches later. Now we're moving. Oh, you're not even pushing. Wow, I'm going fast. <laughs> Thank you. So this vehicle's good to take through the drive-thru? I guess so. Thank you. Ooh. We're going down a hill. I'm kind of losing control. Next up, we have Dairy Queen. Great ratings like yummy and I will never come back here again. Let's see if they allow us to take a lawnmower through the drive-thru. Anything else for you? Nope, that'll do it. $8.98. Thank you. A few moments later. Look what I did on accident. I got I got your blizzard like you asked. But uh you might want to take a look. I don't think I can get it out of the cup holder. Legend has it the blizzard is still in the lawnmower's cue folder. PDQ. If they're truly quality. They let Mike and I in the drive-thru in this chair, right? The plan was simple. Mike would roll me through the drive-thru in a rolly chair. Although this seems unorthodox, it's sort of like a vehicle, right? I push. Thank you. This counts? Could I get an eight-piece spicy nugget? Okay. Uh, but could I make it a meal, and could I get a lemonade with that for him? I was expecting some sort of pushback. I mean, I'm literally sitting in a chair. But the PDQ guy did not seem to care. In fact, he seemed to be one of the most pleasant workers we spoke to. I'm driving. Would you like a hot water? Uh, sure. That'd be great. My car didn't come with one. <laughs> no cue folder. Amazing. Thank you. Mmm, Mike. You want your lemonade now in the back seat? Yeah. It was amazing. We got through the whole order with no issues. <laughs> <laughs> the car's slowly pulling. Thank you for stopping. I was so concerned. PDQ for being the best, most understanding. They truly delivered quality. I never expected I could just get rolled on a chair and get some food. Quality confirmed. Next up, we were going to the one restaurant that always encourages you to live moss, which means live more, live life more fervently, more authentically. But would Taco Bell really live up to their own slogan? Now, this might have been the most nervous I was to go to any of these restaurants. I mean, at this point, it was hard to even argue that these shoes qualified as a vehicle. Hello? Eventually. You're not setting off the speaker. Okay. Am I, am I able to order? Um, what the Sigma? What happened? Um, not setting off something, so I'm not able to order. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, we know Taco Bell doesn't believe these are vehicles. Well, Mike, Taco Bell failed our test. I ruled out the drive with an ambulance. How are we supposed to live Moss if they won't let us live at all? Giving Burger King an attempt with the bounce shoes. See you on the other side, Mike. Hello? They didn't even talk to me. No. I was like, hey, how's it going? And just no, they just ignored me. I think the bounce shoes might be the ultimate failure. Mike might have been ready to give up, but I was not. In fact, I actually had an ingenious plan to trick the sensor. What if you drive the car uh -huh. on the sensor uh -huh. and then I order? <laughs> and bing bang boom, we win and eat food. The King, you roll, not gonna help you. And it worked! How's it going? Hi! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. 
Uh, yes. I ordered the uh, Panda Sunday. And the yeah, nuggets. Panda Sunday and the Nuggets. Okay. What is that you got on? They're like bouncy shoes. You know? No. Oh. <laughs> it's different. That's it is different. different. You like them? They're all right. They hurt a little. Thank you so much. Well, Have a great day. Okay. Mission accomplished. Now, we're at a restaurant I have never eaten out of my life, but I'm tricked by every day and didn't even know was here. Hello there. And that restaurant is... Arby's. Did that look cool? Um, there's no way they're gonna let you take that to a drive through jug. That's just impossible. Here we go. Ow. Thank you. <laughs> they did not care at all. But I found a handy thing of this. Bam! Can take my food to go. I could be an Uber Eats driver like this. I didn't even know it existed until last week. Uh, Mike, what do you want? Uh, no. Hi. So technically, we're not allowed to serve you guys like this because we also don't allow cars. Okay. Uh, so these don't count as vehicles. They do not. All right. Mike, let's get hit by a car for insurance fraud. Okay.